The Bayad dynasty or the Bayads Persian, al al also known as Bawaihids, Bowaihids, Bayahids, or Bayids, was an Iranian Shia dynasty of Dalamite origin. Coupled with the rise of other Iranian dynasties in the region, the approximate century of Bayad rule represents the period in Iranian history sometimes called the Iranian Intermezzo since, after the Muslim conquest of Persia, it was an interlude between the rule of the Abbasid Caliphate and the Seljuk Empire. The Bayad dynasty was founded by Ali ibn Buya, who in 934 conquered Fars and made Shiraz his capital, while his younger brother Hassan ibn Buya conquered parts of Jibal in the late 930s, and by 943 managed to capture Ray, which he made his capital. In 945, the youngest brother, Ahmad ibn Buya, conquered Iraq and made Baghdad his capital, receiving the honorific title of Mu'is al dala fortifier of the state, while Ali was given the title of Imad al dala support of the state, and Hassan was given the title of Rukan al dala pillar of the state. As Dalamite Iranians the Bayads consciously revived symbols and practices of Iran's Sasanian Empire. In fact, beginning with Adid al dala they used the ancient Sasanian title Shahanshah, Shansha literally, King of Kings. At its greatest extent, the Bayad dynasty encompassed most of today's Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, and Syria, along with parts of Oman, the UAE, Turkey, Afghanistan and Pakistan. During the 10th and 11th centuries, just prior to the invasion of the Seljuk Turks, the Bayids were the most influential dynasty in the Middle East, and under King Adid al-Dala, became briefly the most powerful dynasty in the Middle East. Origins The word buya Arabic buwai is a Middle Persian name ending in the diminutive y Middle Persian o, modern Persian uya, Arabic uwayh. The Bayids were descendants of Panna Khusrau, a Zoroastrian from Dalam. He had a son named Buya, who was a fisherman from Lahijan, and later left Zoroastrianism and converted to Islam. Buya later had three sons named Ahmad, Ali, and Hassan, who would later carve the Bayid kingdom together. Most historians agree that the Bayids were Dalamites. The Bayids claimed royal lineage from Bahram V, 15th king of the Sasanian Empire. History Rise The founder of the dynasty, Ali ibn Buya, was originally a soldier in the service of the Dalamite warlord Makan ibn Khaki, but later changed his adherence to the Iranian ruler Mardavij, who had established the Ziyarid dynasty, and was himself related to the ruling dynasty of Gilan, a region bordering Dilam. Ali was later joined by his two younger brothers, Hassan ibn Buya and Ahmad ibn Buya. In 932, Ali was given Karaj as his fief, and thus was able to enlist other Dalamites into his own army. However, Ali's independent actions made Mardavij plan to have him killed. Ali was informed of Mardavij's plan by the latter's own vizier. The Bayad's brother, with 400 of their Dalamite supporters, then fled to Fars, where they managed to take control of Arijan. However, the Bayad's and the Abbasid general Yaqut shortly came into a struggle for the control of Fars, which the Bayad's eventually emerged victorious in. This victory opened the way for the conquest of the capital of Fars, Shiraz. Ali also made an alliance with the landowners of Fars, which included the Fasanha's family, which would later produce many prominent statesmen for the Bayads. Furthermore, Ali also to enlist more soldiers, which included the Turks, who were made part of cavalry. Ali then sent his brother Ahmad on an expedition to Kerman, but was forced to withdraw from them after opposition from the Baloch people and the Qafs. However, Mardavij, who sought to depose the Abbasid Caliph of Baghdad and recreate a Zoroastrian Iranian empire, shortly wrested Khuzestan from the Abbasids and forced Ali to recognize him as his suzerain. Luckily for the Bayids, Mardavij was shortly assassinated in 935, which caused chaos in the Ziyarid territories, a perfect situation for the Bayid brothers. Ali and Ahmad conquered Khuzestan, while Hassan captured the Ziyarid capital of Isfahan, and in 943 captured Ray, which became his capital, thus conquering all of Jibal. In 945, Ahmad entered Iraq and made the Abbasid Caliph his vassal, at the same receiving the Lakhab Mu'is ad dala fortifier of the state, while Ali was given the Lakhab Imad al dala support of the state, and Hassan was given the Lakhab Rukan al dala pillar of the state. 
Topic: <laughs> Height of Power and Golden Age 945 to 983. In addition to the other territories the Bayids had conquered, Kerman was conquered in 967, Oman 967, the Jazeera 979, Tabaristan 980, and Gorgon 981. After this, however, the Bayids went into a slow decline, with pieces of the confederation gradually breaking off and local dynasties under their rule becoming de facto independent. Decline and Fall The death of Adid al Dalla is considered the starting point of the decline of the Bayad dynasty. His son Abu Kalihar Marzuban, who was in Baghdad at the time of his death, first kept his death secret in order to ensure his succession and avoid civil war. When he made the death of his father public, he was given the title of Samsam -sam al Dalla. However, Ada's other son, Shirtal Abul Fawaris, challenged the authority of Samsam al Dalla, resulting in a civil war. Meanwhile, a Marwanid chieftain named Badh seized Diyabakar and forced Samsam al Dalla to recognize him as the vassal ruler of the region. Furthermore, Muayyad al Dalla also died during this period, and he was succeeded by Fakir al Dalla, who, with the aid of Muayyad al Dalla's vizier Sahib ibn Abd, became the ruler of Muayyad al Dalla's possessions. Another son of Adid al Dalla, Abu Tahir Farusha, established himself as the ruler of Basra and took the title of Dia al Dalla, while another son, Abul Husayn Ahmad, established himself as the ruler of Khuzestan, taking the title of Taj al Dalla. Shirtal Abul Fawaris, known by his title of Sheriff al Dalla, quickly seized Oman from Samsam al Dalla, and in 983, the Turkic troops of Samsam al Dalla mutinied against him, and left Iraq for Fars, but most of them were persuaded by his relative Ziar ibn Shirakawai to stay in Iraq. However, Iraq was in grim affairs, and several rebellions occurred, which he however, managed to suppress, the most dangerous rebellion being under Asfar ibn Kurdawai, who tried to make Abu Nasr Firuz Karsha known by his title of Baha al Dalla the ruler of Iraq. During the same period, Samsam al Dalla also managed to seize Basra and Khuzestan, forcing his two brothers to flee to Fakir al Dalla's territory. During the mid-11th century, the Bayad Emirates gradually fell to the Ghaznavid and Seljuk Turks. In 1029, Majd al Dalla, who was facing an uprising by his Dailami troops in Ray, requested assistance from Mahmud of Ghazna. When Sultan Mahmud arrived, he deposed Majd al Dalla, replaced him with a Ghaznavid governor, and ended the Bayad dynasty in Ray. In 1055, Tugrul conquered Baghdad, the seat of the caliphate, and ousted the last of the Bayad rulers. Like the Bayads, the Seljuks kept the Abbasid caliphate as the titular ruler. <laughs> Government The Bayids established a confederation in Iraq and western Iran. This confederation formed three principalities, one in Fars, with Shiraz as its capital, the second one in Jibal, with Ray as its capital, and the last one in Iraq, with Baghdad as its capital. However, during their late period, more principalities formed in the Bayad confederation. Succession of power was hereditary, with fathers dividing their land among their sons. The title used by the Bayad rulers was Amir, meaning, governor or prince. Generally one of the emirs would be recognized as having seniority over the others, this individual would use the title of emir al-Umara, or senior emir. Although the senior emir was the formal head of the Bayads, he did not usually have any significant control outside of his own personal emirate, each emir enjoyed a high degree of autonomy within his own territories. As mentioned above, some of the stronger emirs used the Sassanid title of Shahanshah. Furthermore, several other titles such as Malik King and Malik al-Muluk King of Kings were also used by the Bayads. On a smaller scale, the Bayad territory was also be ruled by princes from other families, such as the Hazanwayids. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Military. During the beginning of the Bayad dynasty, their army consisted mainly of their fellow Dalamites, a warlike and brave people of mostly peasant origin, who served as foot soldiers. The Dalamites had a long history of military activity dating back to the Sasanian period, and had been mercenaries in various places in Iran and Iraq, and even as far as Egypt. The Dalamites, during a battle, normally bore a sword, a shield, and three spears. 
Furthermore, they were also known for their formidable shield formation, which was hard to break through, but when the Bayad territories increased, they began recruiting Turks into their cavalry, who had played a prominent role in the Abbasid military. The Bayad army also consisted of Kurds, who, along with the Turks, were Sunnis, while the Dalamites were Shi'i Muslims. However, the army of the Bayads of Jibal mainly composed of Dalamites. The Dalamites and Turks often quarreled with each other in an attempt to be the dominant force within the army. To compensate their soldiers the Bayad emirs often distributed IQTS, or the rights to a percentage of tax revenues from a province tax farming, although the practice of payment in kind was also frequently used. While the Turks were favored in Bayad Iraq, the Dalamites were favored in Bayad Iran. <inaudible> Religion Like most Dalamites at the time, the Bayads were Shia and have been called Twelvers. However, it is more likely that they began as Zaydis. As the reason of this turning from Zaydism to Twelverism, Mujin Momin suggests that since the Bayads were not descendants of Ali, the first Shi'i Imam, Zaydism would have urged them to install an Imam from Ali's family. For that reason Bayads tended toward Twelverism, which has an occulted Imam, which was more politically attractive to them. The Bayads rarely attempted to enforce a particular religious view upon their subjects except when in matters where it would be politically expedient. The Sunni Abbasids retained the caliphate but were deprived of all secular power. In addition, in order to prevent tensions between the Shia and the Sunnis from spreading to government agencies, the Bayad emirs occasionally appointed Christians to high offices instead of Muslims from either sect. <laughs> Bayad rulers <laughs> <laughs> Major rulers Generally, the three most powerful Bayad emirs at any given time were those in control of Fars, Jibal and Iraq. Sometimes a ruler would come to rule more than one region, but no Bayad rulers ever exercised direct control of all three regions. Bayads in Fars Imad al-Dallah Adid al-Dallah Sheriff al Dalla, nine hundred eighty three to nine hundred eighty nine Sam Sam al Dalla, nine hundred eighty nine to nine hundred ninety eight Baha al Dalla, nine nine eight one zero one two Sultan al Dalla, ten twelve to ten twenty four Abu Kaliher, ten twenty four to ten forty eight Abu Mansur Fulad Sutan, ten forty eight to ten fifty one Abu Saad Kusrau Shah, ten fifty one to ten fifty four Abu Mansur Fulad Sutan, ten fifty one to ten sixty two Bayads in Ray Rukan al Dalla, nine hundred thirty five to nine hundred seventy six Fakur al Dalla, nine hundred seventy six to nine hundred eighty Muayyad al Dalla, nine hundred eighty to nine hundred eighty three Fakur al Dalla, restored, nine hundred eighty four to nine hundred ninety seven Majd al Dalla, nine nine seven one oh two nine Bayads in Iraq, Muis al Dalla, nine hundred forty five to nine hundred sixty seven Is al Dalla, nine hundred sixty six to nine hundred seventy eight Adid al Dalla, nine hundred seventy eight to nine hundred eighty three Sam Sam al Dalla, nine hundred eighty three to nine hundred eighty seven Sheriff al Dalla, nine hundred eighty seven to nine hundred eighty nine Baha al Dalla, nine eight nine one zero one two Sultan al Dalla, ten twelve to ten twenty one Musharif al Dalla, ten twenty one to ten twenty five Jalal al Dalla, ten twenty five to ten forty four Abu Kaliher, ten forty four to ten forty eight Al Malik al Rahim, ten forty eight to ten fifty five Topic Minor rulers It was not uncommon for younger sons to found collateral lines, or for individual Bayad members to take control of a province and begin ruling there. The following list is incomplete. Bayads in Basra Dia al -Dala 980s Bayads in Hamadan Muayyad al Dalla 1023 Shams al-Dala Sama al Dalla, ten twenty one to ten twenty four, Bayads in Kerman Kawam al Dalla, ten twelve to ten twenty eight, Bayads of Khuzestan 
Taj al Dala, nine eighties. Topic Family Tree. Topic See also Iranian Intermezzo, List of Kings of Persia, List of Shia Muslims dynasties. Topic References Topic Sources Topic External Links Bayads Tilman Nagel Encyclopedia Iranica D E Y L A M I T E S one, the Bayad domination as the historical background for the flourishing of Muslim scholarship during the 4th 10th century by Dr. M. Ismail Merchinkovsky. The Bawaihids in Iran and Iraq.